Hello again. Welcome to DuckTales, our inside DuckDuckGo podcast video thing. I don't know what you call us exactly. Um, today, I have Greg with us. Greg, you want to introduce yourself? Hello. Uh, I'm, I'm Greg Fiorentino. Um, I uh, work on the product team here at DuckDuckGo. Um, I've been here almost seven years, uh, which is wild. Time flies. Um, that but, is a long uh, time. Yeah. And you're understanding yourself a little bit. Yes, you're on product team, but I, for the last while and for in the foreseeable future, you are running our search engine, correct? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, search search retention, um, you know, I do have, have worked across local search, uh, the search ads, um, uh, lots of different things. Sweet. And today we are talking about a relatively new search feature that we launch that people are liking. Um, and you know what? I won't even introduce it. I'll let me, you share your screen and let's walk through it. Sure. Um, so uh, we now uh, have the ability to, um, for users to exclude uh, individual domains um, from their search results. So I'll kind of show real quick what this looks like. Um, let's say I, I'm doing a, uh, I'm writing some code and I want to do a technical search. Um, I want to figure out how to do uh, an array of strings. Those who don't know, TypeScript is a programming language. Programming yes, language, right? yeah. JavaScript. Yeah, yeah. Super set of JavaScript. Um, so let's say I want to know how to do this, and I I get a bunch of search results, um, and I you know I see some here, and some of these are sites I know and like, and maybe some of them I want to exclude. Um, I don't want to throw uh, too much shade, but let me just pick one and and kind of go. So. Um, let's say I don't want to get results from W3 schools. Um, I've seen so many comments about people wanting to get rid of W3 schools, not to throw a shade. <laughs> <laughs> I've used W3 schools before, and I I've don't used it too. that yeah. bad. But there's a lot of people who seem to not like it who would probably want to remove it. So Yeah. And I would say, I mean, this this feature, I think, is particularly good for use cases like this where, you know, there's a site that maybe comes up a lot. And for whatever reason, a user has kind of a, a disposition that they just don't want to see that site. Um you know, we have other ways to to accomplish this. Um, you know, you can just put minus site and then the domain in. So you, in your you could query. do that for a long time, right? This minus site thing, but this menu, which people don't even maybe realize exists, a lot of people is rel it's relatively new, like yeah. maybe a year ago or something. Yeah, like that. we added this menu a little over a year ago to all organics, um, and uh, organics being these uh, text results. Um, and, you know, f at first, um, and in fact, I can just show if I click this redo search without this site, um, you'll see it adds that syntax right to the query uh, and excludes it from the results. Um, so we've had that f since we first launched this menu about a year ago, um, and it works pretty well. Um, we got some good feedback about that when we first launched it. Um, we also, you know, added that menu to give us the ability to um, have users kind of flag specific results um, for for a variety of reasons. So users can kind of tell us about individual results that, um, you know, they don't like if they click share, share feedback about this site. Um, but the, the, new, uh, the new feature is that you can now sort of block, choose to block this site from all results. So you don't have to add that syntax to the query every time you want to remove it. So um, if I do that, um, you get this little message saying that it's been blocked successfully. Um, and I'm not sure if my screen is showing it, but um, you get a message at the top that tells you that um, you have one result hidden from a site that you've blocked. Um, and you can also go into your settings and you can see uh, the sites that you've blocked and manage them. Sweet. And reception so far, I don't think, since I think it was new, I don't think we've done a lot of announcements of this yet. Um, but uh, curious, like, is it starting to get usage, like that kind of thing? Yeah, um, I, I, we're seeing, you know, uh, a, a relatively uh, growing number of, of, of searches per day that uh, use this block in some form. The vast majority are, are only blocking a single site. Um, uh, we've talked about it a little bit in a couple places um, on, on social and, and um, also just have users, you know, write in through our usual feedback channels to tell us about it. And, um, you know, I think uh, the, the theme here is that we just are giving users more choice um, in how their search results work. Um, they can, you know, 
uh, do some level of customization to to their own needs. Um, and so, you know, this is kind of another feature that helps to accomplish that. Um, and I think that's, you know, uh, that's generally appreciated. There are some limitations also to this that, you know, we've heard about too, and we're, we're thinking about how to, to make it even better. But, um, you know, yes, growing, growing usage and, and some positive reactions so far. Sweet. Yeah, I agree. It's, it's, uh, I mean, we've been doing customization for a long time. I mean, like this, the, the setting screen you're just showing shows how many settings we actually support in terms of customization, which is a lot. Um, and it, it reminds me of the AI filter that we also recently launched to like remove um, some AI image search results. Um, this, like you said, it's a little different because it's more like specific domains that are coming up a lot that you really don't like. Um, but yeah, I, I'm curious, like, Given the feedback so far, and I remember now seeing several subreddits, people finding it and, and, and posting positive things about it, uh, subreddit posts. But yeah, like, what are we, where are we thinking of taking this in the future? Or like, are there other features, kind of like the AI one that kind of merges or, or circles around the same idea of like removing things? Yeah, there are a couple things. I mean, you know, uh, as as a starting point, um, we had a limitation of, of five domains uh, up to five domains that users could do. Um, you know, part of that was was based on this hypothesis that um, most users really would only want to block one or two, which I think is is what we're seeing. Um, we have had people ask us for more. We're exploring um, how we would do that. Um, you know, these things are always... In, in pause of that, partly, partly a couple of follow-up questions to that. One is it's client side now, right? Like if you're, uh, you block the domains, you actually give the results back, but then your client is removing them based on your settings. That's correct. Yeah, the, the result is there. It's just not shown. Got it. Yeah, and the second thing is like, I think we were also talking about like, if you remove too many, that's probably the way I put the message up, like you may actually want them sometimes when they're really relevant. And then you, if you remove tons of domains and then you remove actually good stuff sometimes, then you're going to think our search results are terrible because you actually removed stuff that was important that one time. That's right. One of the things we uh, tested when we built this was, um, you know, how often do we see just a page of all the same domain, right? Such that if a user removed that domain, they would kind of get a, a no results yeah, Like no results that time. And yeah. think that the search engine was broken. Um, and, you know, uh, it's it's not not zero, right? If if I, for example, typed in, you know, I want to see something on W three schools from that 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 example from a minute ago, uh, and got all results from there, it would just be an empty page. Um, so we want to be able to say, hey, you're you know, you've made some customization here that's hiding some results from you, and you have the option then to uh, to see them. Got it. But nevertheless, we're I mean, we set five initially. But we're we're thinking about increasing it at least a little bit. That's right. Um, they also uh, right now they only apply to those organic text link results. Um, you know, we're we're looking at expanding that to uh, other kinds of content on the page uh, that it it should also apply to. Um, and there there's potentially overlap with the uh, the image AI image feature that you talked about. Um, you know, certainly there's some use cases around um, news or videos or, or other kinds of content that users might want to have a little bit more customization around. And it's also, I guess it's also possible that, you know, similar to the AI image list, we could use a kind of organic AI list to have a, a different feature, but a similar kind of toggle to like remove AI organics or something like that. Yeah, that's that's definitely something we're we're looking at too. I mean, it's it's the same. It's it's a similar kind of uh, challenge, and um, you know, part of the challenge there is just that there are so many new sites kind of popping up every day, um, and so, you know, this this feature is less geared around that. Um, you know, I, I would put that in in more of the sort of. Um, uh, spam category, you know, results that are uh, things that maybe very, very rarely get clicked on, um, you know, very fresh, um, but, uh, you know, not a ton of original content. Um, you know, there are potentially other things that we want to add on top of this feature to kind of supplement that and, and help users, uh, you know, not have so many of those showing up in their results too. I guess related to that, I mean, you showed the menu 
where we have, and you could submit feedback. I think we've also, I mean, you could submit feedback there that it's a spam site. I think we might have also recently added, you could submit that it's an AI spam site, but we actually use that information. And to the extent that we ultimately make a feature that might toggle off some of that, like we would use that feedback. Um, so if you're out there and you want to submit us feedback, that's a good way to do it for like sites that you're finding you don't, are completely not relevant, right? Yeah, that, that's exactly right. Um, maybe I'll just show that real quick. Um, yeah, that's good. Because, uh, I mean, we want more feedback of this particular variety. We do. I mean, the more feedback we get about it, the, the better. Um, so, you know, say I come in here and go share feedback about this site. Um, uh, you can select that a site uh, is AI generated. You can sort of tell us anything you might want to tell us about that, or you can just se send that and it will flag it for us to review. Um, and, you know, we obviously... We get a bunch of these every day now. Um, we only added this AI-generated option a couple weeks ago even. Um, we've had the spam option, which we've used um, for, for a while. Um, uh, but, you know, we're, we're sort of looking at these. Um, we're investing in other ways to, to help us kind of verify, um, you know, that, so, that something is, in fact, uh, AI-generated. Um, and, you know, it's a, it's a pretty new... Uh, new space, and and I think we're we're sort of learning what works well for that. But um, you know, if 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 again, if you're out there and you, and you want to tell us about these, um, we are kind of building up our capabilities around this and and making use of of that feedback directly. Sweet, um, great. Anything I don't know I missed about this feature, or you, you didn't tell us that you want to share? Um. I think that you know, just kind of on the um, on the the topic of 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 choice and customization, you know, we 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 put a decent amount of thought into um, how we make it clear to users that um, this feature is you know in effect that you've you've blocked a site. Um, how you kind of manage uh, the the list of block sites once you um, you know once you've 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 done that. Um, I think you know we'd we'd love to hear other feedback about how how well that's working, how clear that is. Um, you know, uh, we kind of build these things and and put them out there. We test them a lot, um, but you know, uh, as we as we add more functionality to this, um, you know, we're always looking for um, uh, for feedback about how well it works and and ways to make it better. Um, so, you know, that's one particular piece that, uh, to me was really important when we built it was, um, you know, we don't want to create a feature, uh, kind of thinking it's useful and then, you know, make something that, uh, is, is, is inadvertently creating confusion or, or making users, uh, making it harder for users to find what they're looking for. So, um, you know, that's something we're kind of on the look for, look out for as we, as we try to improve it. That's great. It reminds me of one last thing, which I think we should just basically have a future episode about. But uh, just just to tease out, I'm sure we're going to get this this point of feedback in the next. Uh, this is a prediction in the next I don't know, month from our subreddit. I set these sites that I don't want to see, and then I cleared all my settings, and now I have to redo them. Um, unfortunately, like outside of our browser, we don't really have a lot of control with that because settings we don't have accounts and settings are getting stored in browser storage and if you clear all the browser storage for to go then this goes away however we are working on uh syncing your search settings to your browser settings so if you're using our browser um we won't just we won't lose your search settings and that is a thing that people have been asking for for literally a decade and so i'm very excited that we're working on it i don't think we're done with it yet but like um, maybe when we first have that working, we could come back and do another episode with somebody. Yeah, I think it would be great to to to, to showcase that. And you know, we've we've tried a number of uh, technical solutions to try to reduce the uh, the accidental clearing of, of settings. Um, and you know, yeah, we have less control outside of our our browsers. But um, you know, e even there, I think we've made some strides. Um, but uh, within our browsers, there's a lot more we can do. Um, and you know, then ways to allow users to sync. Uh, so we could we could definitely showcase that. Cool. Well, thank you, Greg, for coming on to Ducktales, and thank you everybody for listening. And until next time.